your stock free head body that comes on the Sondors, three poles. One, two, and three. I don't know if you caught that. This one, see how it's stuck? That's just with like the residual of grease that these come with. These are supposed to like react like super quick. These are the things that are biting on the inside of your hub. And engaging, right? So stock Sondors comes with three. They usually come heavily greased and they stick. These will stick shut. They won't retract, they won't grab. And when they do grab, they grab at the wrong time and they destroy the inside splines of your free hub. So my whole thing was why not get a free hub body that has six points of engagement. These things have individual little tiny springs. I don't know if you can see them on there. Individual springs under each paw. And this is a bear hub. There's the number. If you want to order one of these for yourself, and I do sell the spacer because you do need a spacer that sits inside there to make up for the space on the axle. Just let me know. But like I said, individual springs, six poles versus one spring that goes around and that typically breaks. And then your poles don't retract. You can see that spring in there. See how it moves when I uh, push that? So typically, either it's too heavily greased or this spring will break. And then once they do engage, they strip the inside of your um, hub. Okay, Sondors, my design basically, or my replacement idea, which works great. And then, so some guy came up with this idea. This is a DT Swiss clone. The spring sits down inside here. Like so. One side of these sits down inside of this little recessed little uh, indentation, like so. Okay. Sits down in there. You can see how those teeth on the outer ring bite. They're not going anywhere. And you got that spring that's pushing out and up against this one that's sitting like this. So that set of teeth right there going around on that circle these set of teeth basically that's your free hub noise when you're back pedaling really can't demonstrate it it's got to be going really fast but hopefully you get that i believe this is only a 36 uh tooth you can get up to a 60 you can double this but the price does go up pretty high about 90 bucks anyway the less teeth i i would think the more strength on especially a uh e-bike less teeth bigger teeth more strength but this one has not failed me in over 800 miles. So that, once again, sits down inside there, like so. This sits on top with those teeth, meshing with those teeth. And once this is flipped upside down, sits down inside here. This is exactly the same. It's got the teeth on the inside. It's got the spring that's, you know, so those two rings are pushing against each other. You can get this hub on eBay. I'll link it and it's, it's proven. DT Swiss clone hub for the Rockstar, 157 by 12. All right, that's how that thing works, and it's great. Another thing I forgot to mention is the Star Ratchet engagement rings are replaceable. You can do an 18 tooth count up to, I think, a, believe a 60 tooth count. More engagement, you know, is um, better, obviously, but um, less teeth maybe is stronger. I don't know. I'd like the more engagement, personally but you can use your stock Sondor's rim and spokes with this hub. You're just gonna have to rebuild it or have a bike shop rebuild it if you wanna retain that rear rim that comes on the Sondor's and those oversized spokes. All right, everyone, I'll put the link in the description if you're interested in this hub. Like I said, it's proven and check it out. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Stay stoked.